PI planning um, execution workshop, maybe before PI planning execution, we should also talk about PI planning facilitation. So, and before PI planning facilitation, maybe you should also be thinking about PI planning readiness. So in order to have a successful PI planning, you need to have gone through some readiness activities. One of the key ones for that is to make sure that you've got the right context for that to happen. In other words, your product management team needs to be aligned with your business uh, executives and business owners to make sure that we're working on the right uh, problem to solve for the customer. And also it is aligned with our organization strategy. We understand the customer needs. We've got the right features that will then go to PI planning for the teams to act on it. So our PI planning facilitation Typically, I, I hesitate to say two days. It used to be two days when we were doing this in person, more and more due to pandemic and also post-pandemic, we're doing this remote. So that could be about four days, but depends on the context, the time zones of the people. So it, it's, it's something that is adapted to the context. So that's the PI planning facilitation. And the reason for that facilitation is that if this is your first PI or if, or if you're a new facilitator, you are a new RTE, you're a new SPC. It is good to get somebody who's done this a few times to guide you, to help you, to make sure that you don't pick up bad habits. You also want to have successful PI planning because it's all about, if you like, having the small wins and celebrating them. PI planning itself is a, a successful event, is worth celebrating. But the celebrations are short-lived because now you've got to deliver against the objectives that you just set yourself in PI planning. And if we don't do that, then we have not really achieved the goal. So this is where the PI execution comes in. It's about, so we set ourselves some objectives. We said we're going to shoot for these. Now, how can we make sure that the teams are coached in the right way? Because we just now got a team of agile teams that have got just come together. So there's a lot of team level coaching that is required. There is um, agile release train coaching that is required. So basically getting the RTE, the product management, the architecture, the business owners, coaching them to see, okay, what is their role in unblocking the, uh, the, the teams, if you like, systemic issues that will come up, what gets blocked, what is blocking the team, how can you act on it? And also we may discover that some of the things that we committed to are not achievable because when we did PI planning, we had some knowledge now we're gaining knowledge as we go through, and it may turn out that the uh, the commitments are not achievable, but that's okay too, is to make sure that the leadership team understands that if that turns out to be the case, that is okay, it's part of learning. And the other thing is to make sure that all the events that are at the team level and the agile release train level, they are, if you like, executed in the right way. People understand what the intent behind those events are, who should come, what is the expected output that we have, what goes in and what comes out of those, and what decisions and actions and behaviours do we need to have in order for those to be successful. So that's the execution coaching that happens for an agile release train. So it's not just one person doing that. It will require a te small team to make sure that we support the whole organisation and achieve the right outcomes for the organisation. How long does it take? Well, it's the length of the PI, which is typically between eight to 12 weeks, but typically we're seeing 10 weeks for organizations.